Okay. Uh, hey, everybody. Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com. And uh, let's go for the gold. Now, this has been moving up for quite a while. Um, and it'd be nice to say, well, where were we back here a couple of years ago? Well, we were someplace else. Although I will tell you, uh, I've got some physical gold that I've held for longer than I even can remember. So I guess I'm doing okay there, though the big deal is when are you going to sell and that ain't going to happen. But with an ETF like GLD, that's a different deal. So as I look at this on the daily chart, you can see a nice trend on the 50-day moving average. This 21-day moving average, the green line, has been support for this. And we're just looking really, really short-term stuff. Uh, if we look at this on a longer-term basis, I, I can really make a case, I'm going to make a case, for this base to be a multi-year base, like over three years. And then you finally, finally got the real key breakout right here on this, on again, on the weekly chart. And then the following week was when the volume came in. So we can go back to that. I mean, we'll go, That can't you see how, not that you're gonna tell me, um, but can't you see how this thing has been in a basing pattern? And then um, if we just stretch this, this over to the right, um, you can see how this breakout was a really, really important technical move. And this, is, this was truly the confirmation on heavy volume here. And then since that time, of course, um, this just kept going up. But really, when you're looking at this on a weekly chart, this wasn't that long ago. I, I will make the case that this move is actually just getting going, or to put another way, it has a lot more to run from where it is now. So I look at the daily chart, I see a nice move higher out of this little consolidation here. And I, I feel like gold is really gonna start just continuing to move. And also think about this. So the Fed um, cut rates by 50 basis points. Um, politicians cheered, of course, but ev everybody else who really has a handle on things is going like, why 50, Jerome? I, I know that that's what everybody was betting on, but that doesn't mean that the bet was it would be the right move. It was just rather just the stupid ass shit that you would do. And so now they've done that. And then you're looking at, pardon me for that uh, grammar. This is try to be a family show, um, but uh, it's true. Anyway, so the fact that gold just continues to run tells us that the gold market thinks that, well, the, the Fed's probably going to keep cutting for a while. That's going to bump inflation up even more, which is what that does. And so with an inf in an inflationary environment, guess what happens to gold? It goes up, kind of like it's been doing here. But wait, there's more. I'm going to bring Bitcoin into this deal. This is a weekly chart on Bitcoin. And Bitcoin also kind of performs, can perform a lot like gold. Um, and so it's this is getting close to, this isn't a, a video on Bitcoin here. That's my compadre, uh, Scott McGregor at Crypto Market Mentor, who's a, a, a God warrior on this stuff. But I look at this and this is looking like a really, really nice, a deep cup here, an agonizing cup if you bought here. <clears throat> all the way down back up. And now it's looking like uh, you just got this little, uh, this little handle here. And so anyway, my sense is that this is a stock that's gonna do, or this crypto is gonna do really, really well. I like the way this chart is setting up, but what I really like is the way gold is trading. I think this can just continue to work. Um, it's something that we're gonna be tracking a little more closely at Stock Market Mentor. So anyway, that's what I got for you today. Hope you're doing well. Uh, make sure that in this kind of market, seriously, you should only be holding winning positions. If you have losing positions, and we're not gonna bat a thousand, if you have losing positions, then why don't you just ditch them so you're looking at nothing but green in your account. It keeps your 
uh, attitude you keeps you in a better frame of mind. You'll make better decisions. You're not going to be sitting there looking at some losing position and getting down on yourself. I would say the market's in kind of a medium uh, medium bullish atmosphere right now. In other words, and we did a, I had a uh, training session this morning. We're talking about this where the sentiment is kind of greedy, maybe a little bit greedy, but not too greedy. It's kind of almost a Goldilocks thing where we can continue to run higher for a while because the market is definitely not, it's not overbought. It's just that the bears are being overrun. So Keep that in mind. Look at gold. Look at GLD. I think that's better than the GDX, better than the gold miners. Definitely keep an eye on Bitcoin and IBIT, or it's really called IBIT, but I don't know why I like to call it IBIT because I'm different. Um, this could be moving out as well. So now you don't even have to have a crypto wallet in order to participate in Bitcoin. So guess what? That's all I got for you. Hope you are having a great day.